Sooner Scoop HD. Um, I would say it's different because I would just say like, you know, we're playing in the Big 12, so I mean, every game is a big win. And so we're just looking ahead, trying to take it one game at a time. But honestly, it just doesn't compare because I feel like our group, the guys here, I mean, we're still putting in the work every single day. We're still competing at a high level in practice. We're still uh, listening to coach. Like, everybody's still bought in, you know what I mean? And so we're going to go out there tomorrow and give it everything we got. And, Hopefully we come out with a win. When you talk about the, the work level not dropping, but the results kind of staying the same, is that a new frustration for you of, of kind of operating at the caliber you guys feel you are, but not getting the results from? Um, yeah, I mean, losing is always going to be, you're going to be frustrated with losing. But uh, we're, we're open-minded. I mean, we, can, we think if we continue to put in the work and practice, go hard every rep, and uh, follow the game plan to the T, that we can get wins down the stretch for sure. Lois and Dega are two freshmen who have really been thrusted into some big roles their first year. Just what's your message to them as one of the better guys on this team? Oh, I mean, just keep bringing it every day. I mean, uh, it's always going to be ups and downs in your freshman year. I was a freshman a while ago, and so I, I kind of understand what they're going through. But, I mean, we need them right now, and we need them to play big roles in which they're doing. And I just feel like, I mean, they're doing a great job in what they do. I mean, their energy is always good, always got a smile on their face, even though we're going through a tough time right now as a team. And so, I mean, that all, all the little things just help, and I just feel like they're doing a good job of what they're doing. You started a handful of games your freshman year. Just what do you remember between finding that balance between, you know, wanting to contribute but also not force things? You know, what's that process like? What was it like for you? Um, I mean, I just I try to keep the game simple. Um, I try to take what the defense gives me. I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but that's kind of just how I play. I try to make smart plays and um, take open shots. And so that's what I kind of did when I was a freshman, for sure. Bob. Grant, how can you tell and like quantify that everyone's still locked in? Um, I mean, we met as a team. I mean, but you can just tell. I mean, I feel like this group of guys, I mean, we're so close off the court. I mean, on the court, we're close as well. And so, I mean, coaches all set us down because I want to say you guys said something to media and he addressed us with it. And then after that, we all got together and just had a, a real down there of talking. I mean, we got to the, some bottom of some things, and we came to some some conclusions for sure. And then, as the point guard, kind of heartbeat of the team, how, how tough is it for you to get other facets of your game going if you're not shooting well? I mean, I mean, I just, I mean, I'm going to be bad if I let my offense dictate my game. I mean, so I mean, I'm really just trying to encourage guys and get everybody's energy going. I'm really talking on defense. I'm I'm trying to lock in on the little things just to help us, our team, win games. Jason. Uh, you, Jalen, and Tanner have kind of all been through the thick of NCAA play. Kind of walk me through what you guys had to do to kind of keep this team together and grounded as, as the veteran leaders of this team. Um, I mean, Tanner, me, Tanner, and Jalen, but I mean, Tanner does a great job. I mean, Tanner's just a phenomenal guy on and off the court. And so, I mean, he always keeps everybody up. I mean, he's always talking. I mean, he's always encouraging guys. And just saying, man, we just got to keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. We're going to find our stride eventually. We're going to find it because we're putting in the work. Everybody's putting in the work. So, I mean, we're just optimistic. I mean, we're going to find our stride, and we're going to put together some wins down the stretch for sure. That's what I believe. <laughs> to clarify, the, the meeting you said you guys have, is that between the – the other day and yeah it was our guys yeah it was between us when was that after the loss <laughs> and there, you said there was something in the media that Porter put in front of you guys yeah I mean he at, in our after the game he said you guys said something I mean I don't want to go too into details and stuff like that because I'll be here forever totally different note um, Doc Sadler showed up here what, a couple days before the season or Maybe a game into it. What his uh, his impact been? What struck you about him and, and how that went? It was crazy because Doc had a Doc had a great talk with us, um, a very inspiring talk to us um, in film the other day, actually yesterday. And so, 
Yeah, I mean, so he inspired us a bunch, and he gave us a great outlook on the rest of our season and how we can go out there and get these wins. Well, I, I know you don't want to go into too much detail, but how necessary was that meeting? And like, were things maybe said that needed to be said and just hadn't been? I mean, honestly, I mean, it, it wasn't nothing crazy. I mean, we all we all enjoy each other's company. I mean, we always hang out. We we pretty much do a lot of things together. I mean, so it's just like another day. I mean, I mean, we had to kind of address some things and how we're playing, got to move the ball, stuff like that. But it's just, I mean, we're a family here. I mean, there's never going to be any bickering. I feel like, you know, our older guys, we all just make sure everybody's good. I mean, so it'll never be anything like that. Sooner Scoop HD.